All right, all right, I think I got it. So I gotta put, well, I've been listening to just bring it lately. Ah, oh, man, but Conquer is fucking amazing. Domination is like the, one of the best rock albums in like the last decade. Real existence. Mm, yes, no, yes, alone. Yes. No, what about Moratorium is fucking awesome too. Dragon Cries. Dragon. Endless Story. Son of a bitch. Uh, dice. 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 No. no, no, no. No. Damn it. Nobody likes one and only, though. Just me. It's my list. Fuck it. It's my list. Just put your own fucking list if you don't like it. Yeah, but they didn't write that song. But it's still fucking awesome. No, wait. Wait, pins don't have erasers. Alright, I think I got it. I think I got it. Awesome. I think we got it. Sweet. I did it. It's done. Except maybe this thing. What's up, guys? Welcome back to Static H Channel. Hope you guys are doing good, man. Hope you guys are staying healthy out there and staying at home, staying indoors. Only, you know, the essential stuff. Uh, as for me, my work has doubled. So I'm either at work or here resting. So I uh, finally got some time to get back to doing this, which I've been me I've been wanting to do for like two weeks now. So uh, for this segment, I wanted to get back to an idea I had earlier uh, from the beginning of the year for kind of doing like a like a playlist thing or a top five thing. kind of, And I felt like I'm going to combine both of them with this little segment here. Since we haven't had any uh, bandmade stuff as of late, except for like... Uh, uh, Miku washing her hands and stuff. That was pretty interesting. But uh, other than that and the domination video, we really had haven't had anything new come out since Dragon Cries and uh, so I figured, all right, let's let me combine that. Let's let's get to uh, the the. I wanted to do this playlist segment and a top five segment. I'm gonna combine them and here it is. I'm gonna. I've been asked before many a time um, by you guys, what's my my top five favorite uh, bandmate songs? So I finally decided to do it. And it was uh, painstaking and uh, been thinking about it all week. So I finally have my my keep in mind my definitive top five band made uh playlist for now because it changes daily and it has changed actually all week so i've been you know, been kind of been writing it down rewriting it writing it down rewriting it so here we go uh first let's start off with the uh, honorable mentions uh the Nonfiction Days is definitely one of my favorites from there. It's a great rocker. Uh, probably one of the first songs I heard from them. Maybe like the third or fourth song I heard from them. Uh, definitely one of those, uh, just a straight up rock anthem. You want to play it loud. Um, every time I play it for new people that haven't heard it, they love that song. This is this is a great uh, hard rock and slash kind of radio song. It's very appealing. Uh, the video is also awesome. So... Um, yeah, love that video. Love the song. That's an honorable mention. Also on there, Alone, another one of my uh, favorites. That one didn't, didn't make the top five, but it did, it did make the honorable mention list. Another great song with a great hook. And it, I mean, this just the, the, the bandmate formula. Uh, those two songs, I think, are, are essential in your playlist. Um, okay, so those are my two honorable mentions Alone, Nonfiction Days. Uh, I guess I'll play a sample of them right here. Okay, there you go. All right, now let's get to the top five lists. Now, this, like I said, it's, it's been a pain in the ass. Not really. Uh, the only pain in the ass is, is the fact that I changed my mind on it. So finally, I wrote it down. And I said, okay, this is it. This is where we're going to go. So here we go. Number five. Number five from the new album, uh, Conqueror Dilemma. Now, I love this song, man. From the beginning, let me be honest with you. The first time I heard this song, I had to stop and replay it because it was just so much going on. There was so much going on in that song that I had to stop and go back. I'm like, this is a lot of, a lot of new uh, ground that they're covering that I've never heard before. So let me let me go backwards, play it again. And I heard it a few more, uh, like two or three more times in the first listen when I was doing the, the review for the album. Um, 
and fell in love with it instantly. Just just the the way uh, Psyche's vocal sound on it. The hook was great. It has like two hooks on it, so you gotta love that. Um, also love the back the background vocals. The the let me see it. Love that part. Uh, like I said, it like, sounds like that they're having a lot of fun. And the like you can hear background vocals going on. I'm like I'm not I'm never really used to hearing them kind of doing that kind of stuff so it, you could tell that we're having fun recording this and then this like i said this album you could there was a lot of uh, background vocals and a lot of fun stuff going on and then this song i just think uh, as far as like that sonic attack that they hit you with it was just so much going on but once you get past the the chaotic first listen and then break it down it's such a great song and it, I, I got i was hooked after like the second or third time listening to it. i knew i liked it from the first one i just wanted to kind of make it all make sense in my head because it was just it just hit me so freaking like fast and hard and i was like okay wow this 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 was a lot let me listen to it again and make sure that i actually do like it and I'm like okay i like it okay i love it okay this is probably my favorite song on the album and it is as of right now it's my favorite song from the new album so dilemma my number top my number five for the, my band made top five lists okay Let's go into number four. All right, now this one I had a hard time picking uh, where I was going to put it in the uh, in the the list, but I think number four is a great uh, great place for it. For at least for my list, moratorium, love it. Anth anthem song. Um, when the two times that I've seen them live, it's just it's that song where you just everybody is so into it. Everybody's just waiting for the the sing along part, and um, when you know when it hit the the room was shaking like everybody was singing so loud and you can you can see it in their faces too that they were just like blown away by it especially the first la show you could tell they were blown away by how many people were so into that song um you know it wasn't a song that was made into a video nothing like that people just loved it and uh, same here man i was like this this how can i love it it's a great chorus it's a great uh opening uh, guitar hook the whole song is like i said this is the bandmate formula of course but the i think the sing-along part the whoa, whoa, whoa part is um it's 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 the selling point to that song it's the arena song it's the anthem song is the song that people love singing along to live it's amazing i think that's probably why i made my top five because just uh, hearing it on you know on record or whatever on mp3 and it sounds amazing when you listen to it in the car when you listen to it in, uh, wherever you listen to it but live is the reason why it landed in my top five love it absolutely amazing song so yeah number four more touring all right number three this is i think the second song we've heard from them uh for at least for us on this channel uh don't let me down it's in english it's a great video of mika just running around in her high heels it's, uh, just a, an amazing feat and in that um in that uh maid outfit also um of course the lyrics you know after we listened to it the first time and uh, we put we posted the video everybody was talking about have you read the lyric have you, okay i was not listening to the lyrics really i was just listening to everything else that that's the song that like made me freaking like I think all the me and the two other guys that did this channel were completely uh, fixated on Psyche and Miku. When I heard that song and saw the video, I was like, "Wait, that drummer's amazing!" Are you guys listening to what I'm listening to? That's the song that made me turn into an Akane guy, because holy hell, that song just completely changed it all for me. I was like, "She's fucking amazing." When I started listening to more of their music, I was I was mainly fixated on listening to her and this is the song that did it for me and i love the song love the hook great hook i know it's got dirty lyrics or whatever once i get past that shit, like i haven't ha got to hear it live i know a couple people got to hear it live i think the european shows did and i'm wondering maybe it's because of the, the lyrical content in it but like that to me it's, it doesn't even matter i just it's just a great song with a great chorus uh fantastic uh great opening uh guitar riff um like i said the drums especially during the chorus is what got me hooked on on that song and it's it's remained in my top five since you know forever it's definitely one of my favorites of all time like i said let me know what you guys think of the song um because to me i love it i still love it it's still one of my the, number three so there you go uh don't let me down Alright, number two. Now this one um, crept up on me, man, because uh, 
it, this is a song that not a lot of people i mean it was, it was there's conflict back and forth when i posted the the um the reaction to it i was hooked instantly man i just thought this this song was great i i like the the opening with the uh the synthesizer and stuff it, it was a different feel for what i'm used to hearing from them um one and only such a great song like if you're if you slept on this song i think you need to go back and listen to it man because the chorus part the the harmonies between psyche and, and miku during that that chorus it chills it still gives me chills i love the way it sounds i love the way they sound together on that particular song the way they they laid down the vocals for both of them it sounds so fucking amazing i, I that became a, a quick favorite of mine and it i listened to it so much that it, it all the way to number two on my list um like i said um i know there's a couple people that didn't like because of the synthesizer i don't know what your guys's problem is get past that get over that man the the song itself is it's such a hidden gem um and you know a lot of bands have that especially when you have a, a band like bandmate that they have no bad songs they have songs that are you know good and that's part where they get to they're good and then great there's nothing that drops below that good category to me this is a song that just got categorized as good i think it's fucking great i think it's it's like i said it's one of the to me it's one of their best songs man i next time i see them i hope they play this one live because i would love to sing along to this one i think it's a fantastic song like i said the chorus just is amazing you know me i'm a chorus guy uh this was perfect uh perfect band me song to me i know uh, the people think it's a little bit too different not me love it still love it it's my number two it was almost my number one i was having a, a fight back and forth all week about what should be my number one and um i think my number one as a it's it's there for a reason it's more than just because it's a great song but number two as of right now is a uh, one and only number one it's been number one since the first time i saw this this video and heard the song this is the first song we did a reaction to it i uh, was in, i instantly knew that i was i was watching a band that was special like i heard this song and i was this is the perfect hard rock pop song it's got everything you need it's got great instrumentation a phenomenal opening bass line um and a bass player uh, great drums, fantastic uh, voice and vocals, and uh, the solos. Um, that's the only thing I don't like about the song is the fact that the solo is not long enough. I wish this is one of those songs because it starts off so amazing, like that. If if it'll only be a little bit longer, but maybe I'm just being greedy. But I just think that would have made it the perfect song. But for me, it's my favorite bandmate song. Dice is what I'm talking about. Like I said, first song is uh, the exposure. The, for a lot of reactors and a lot of people who became obsessed with this band was this song we were no different like i said i heard it 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 hit me in a, like a fucking baseball bat to the face i was like holy shit this song has everything this band has everything you know when you get past the the looks part of it i mean they're you know great looking females with uh you know the they do the costume thing the maid costume and that's great that's the first initial thing you see and then i heard the song and i'm like holy shit this is the perfect hard rock song man it's not too fast it's not too slow it's not too metal it's not too punk it's not too hard rock that hard rock too classic rock it, that, I've, I've been looking for that combination for a long time man and um i found it with with you know five japanese girls so, so who were dressed up as maids uh like i said from from when i've heard it the first time till now it's just remained my number one just because of uh the it was something that i, w I had been looking forward to listen to i've been looking for it i found it and uh, i haven't let it go and i became a, uh, an instant fan and um a big fan of them they're definitely a uh, band made as far as my top five bands list they've they've crept up there um and you know i've i've held on to my top five bands list for a long time and band made it just, just forced their way into my list anyway um this is my favorite song from theirs uh like i said to me it's a per it's the perfect rock song man it's such a great chorus it's such a great breakdowns and and the guitars and the, everything just like i said whoever records their music you need to, the, that guy needs to whoever that person is applaud to them applause to them man because they they sound all their songs sound amazing but this particular one maybe that's why it was the 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 first single off the album because or i believe anyway um because it's such a great song and like so many people uh this is the first time they ever listened to bandmate what a song to do it to 
usually this is typically the song I, I expose people to whoever wanna be like, hey that song you guys are really uh you know I'm in the car like oh play some of that for me. This is the first song I play is dice and they're instantly hooked too man. So there you go. Alright guys, that was my top 5 uh, bandmate songs playlist. It's been a tough week for me to, uh, it's been a lot of work for me this week, not not just because of that, because of my actual work and uh, getting some time and, uh, you know, writing and rewriting this list and uh, there you go. I'm pretty happy with it. Uh, now before you go and attack me and uh, slaughter me all over the comment section, what's your top 5 bandmate playlist? I want to know. Put it in the comment section. Did I forget one? What's your top 5? What's your honorable mentions, man? And um, on and obviously after that, what else should I uh, playlist, do a top 5 playlist for? What else do you guys want to hear? You want me to, you know, my favorite Japanese bands, my favorite baby metal songs, my favorite uh, metal act, classic heavy metal, thrash, whatever. You guys throw on there uh, what top five you guys want me to do next, and I will gladly do that for you. Definitely want to make this a new segment. I want to thank you guys for uh, following along, man, because it's tough times right now, and you can be watching anything. Thank you guys for taking the time out to watch this, and I uh, appreciate you guys and uh, all the new subscribers and everything. Um, like I said, any suggestions or whatever you guys want to see next, put it in the comment section. Uh, don't forget to follow or subscribe. I mean, follow. Is this, uh, fucking MySpace. Uh, subscribe like please and uh, also a uh, notification bell so you know every time we drop videos definitely going to be dropping a lot this week i uh, have some time finally so i'm gonna be dropping a lot of videos um also don't forget to check out the teespring uh just put up three new designs um well i updated one of them and i added two new ones so check them out in the teespring section i'm probably going to put a little ad after at the end of this so you guys can go check it out thank you guys to the to people who have actually visited the the uh teespring shop and bought some shirts um drop the price just because um uh, you know i don't know i seen other people somewhere in the 20s selling their t-shirts I think it's a little bit asking for too much for guys who are just in front of the YouTube thing. And if you guys want to support, uh, I dropped the price down to like, I think 15 bucks or something like that. 15.99 or something like that. Uh, if you guys want to check it out, thank you for that. And uh, yeah, thank you guys for watching. Um, please stay safe and stay sanitized and stay home, man. And let's, let's, you know, let's get past this. Let's get through this together. Hopefully you guys are doing great, man. Let me know how you guys are doing, how you guys are holding up right now during this time. And uh, thank you guys for watching. And I'll check you later. Peace.